Yeah, what's going on YouTube? It's DJZX here. These are the startup bunkers we're going to be taking a look at today. Alright, let's take a look at Welder's Bunker number one. We have two triangles that are connected to each other, and then we have one square that's not connected. Go ahead and take a look up here. We got a wall connected to the square side. We have a roof triangle connected to the triangle side. Since that welds those two items together, be all equal on the same TC. Getting inside is a breeze. Pull out your building plan, grab a roof triangle made out of twig, and place it leaning to the left. That will grant access. Stored inside, you'll find all the goodies. This is just a simple one by one. This can expand out to as much as you wish. This setup allows you to stand up, shoot through this door, and also close your bunker. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at how to build this thing. But first, you probably noticed it's sponsored by RustyPot.com down here at the bottom right. But uh, that's uh, not a sponsor for me. Uh, these videos are made for free. Uh, the server I'll be playing on is uh, this uh, exact one right here. Um, Rusticated.com and uh, sponsored, it's sponsored by RustyPot.com. Uh, if you could uh, simply just drop a sub for me, it would uh, just uh, it would help me out. Uh, so I wouldn't be sitting in this box here. All right, we're gonna start off with this foundation. You're gonna have the three triangles and then the one square right in the middle. Remove your middle triangle, and then take your square foundation and go out seven. Drop down a triangle foundation, remove the rest of the square foundation. Back to the triangle foundation. Back with half moons. Drop down a foundation. Remove half moons. Now that we went back seven squares plus the original square we started at and came back eight, we now have a wall stack in place. This is what you need. Yeah, I hope you're digging my black gold MP5. Also got the black gold AK, and I got the new edition, the black gold LR-300. All right, so in order to weld our parts that are disconnected, to be connected all of this stuff yeah I know I'm just some random dude off the internet trying to tell you how to play a rust game but I could prove it watch this is what we'll do all right so to prove it to you guys what we'll do here is I'll make this side stone and we'll make this side metal okay and uh, that way the only way for the TC on the stone side to have metal on it would be it would be connected. Alright, let's go ahead and drop a doorway right here. Let's go ahead and drop a wall right here. And one right here. We can make those facing outward. And uh, what we want to do is we want to focus up top here. Drop another wall right here. Then we want to drop a roof triangle on the left side. Have those two cross over. So uh, let's take a look at the before and after on the TC. And uh, take a, we'll take a look before I connect them. Alright, so should have three on the stone. And we got three blocks on the stone, obviously, right? One, two, three. Now. When I decide I want to connect the roof triangle, metal, let's see if it uh, connects at all. Eight blocks. And now we have metal. All right, now that we've proven ourselves by separating it on the TC, let's go ahead and show you how to finish this thing. All right, so to finish this thing off, let's go ahead and put a uh, triangle foundation right here. Twig. Jump up top. 
we're going to go ahead and put a metal triangle foundation and we're going to have it touching the stone side. You notice with a little gap right here, not on the right side. And then uh, what you want to do is basically take your cursor and move it to the left until it bumps up on top of the second part. Drop it in, cover that part up, go in here, drop some walls, ceiling, I don't know everything's fully separated, let's go check to look at the TC, 14 blocks. The all wood model will cost you 3,551 wood. Let's go inside and take a look at the TC. Fifteen blocks at ten percent. Two hundred and seven wood per twenty-four hours. The all stone model, sir. Fifteen hundred and eleven wood plus three thousand and sixty stone. This includes twig cost. Let's take a look inside at the TC. Fifteen blocks at ten percent, three hundred and six stone, three wood. The Almighty Metal version for you, sir. Fifteen hundred and eleven wood, two thousand and forty metal. Let's take a look at the DC. Fifteen blocks at ten percent. Two hundred and four metal, three wood. Oh, and my favorite version, which I prefer not to build in anything else but HQM. Fifteen hundred and eleven wood. Two hundred and fifty nine HQM. As you can see, you cannot see inside. Let's take a look inside at the cost. Fifteen blocks at ten percent. Twenty-six HQM. Three wood. All right, now that we've taken a look at Welder's Bunker number one, let's take a look at Welder's Bunker number two. All right, so instead of the square, we have a triangle right here. Yeah, this doesn't have as much junk in the trunk, but it can be used for other things, like an external TC, or just a weld onto a triangle. All right, you two, if you wish to see the welder's bunker number two design, go ahead and drop in the comments, make welder's bunker number two. And if we get, let's say, 100 subscriptions, it's just total right now, I think I'm at like 80. And uh, <clears throat> let's say, uh, let's go 10 comments. If we, get, if we can get 10 comments, let's say, next, uh, make. Make um make if you, if you can get ten comments to say to say the exact words, make welders bunker number two. That's it right there. Just make welders bunker number two. Any kind of way, just say that ten times in the comments, and I'll drop that. And I also have more videos to show you how to make them into different bases. Uh, if you want to see that too as well talk about that on the third video but uh appreciate you guys checking out this one here 
and uh, God bless.